Hi, you me up today. Hi, yeah, I am. Uh, what's your code? It's RW45. Is that for Lucia? Yeah, it is. That's perfect if you get to Maxim, though, in Thai. Thank you so much. That's perfect if you get to Maxim. Thank you so much. Hi. Hi, chocolate. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday and I'm so happy about it. Um, so as you guys would have just seen, I just uh, went to McDonald's to get a McDonald's breakfast, which I'm so excited about. I'm not going to drink my hot chocolate yet because it's going to be boiling and I always do that um, by mistake. But yeah, last, I think it was last weekend, I was filming a... Oh, I thought they'd given me the wrong thing. It's fine. Um, yeah, last week I was filming uh, eating like McDonald's for a day using my Monopoly Instant Wins. And I really enjoyed taking myself out for breakfast. I know it was just a McDonald's, but it was just nice. And I thought I could start doing it like um, like every maybe like other weekend or whatever. I've got Harley with me in the back, so we're going to go for a walk. So I just like drove to a place to take him for a walk and McDonald's was on the way. So I was like, maybe this could be my new like Saturday or like Sunday morning routine. Um, it's just a nice treat to have at the end of the week. So I got exactly what I got last week. I got a cheesy bacon flatbread and then I got a sausage and egg McMuffin and my hot chocolate and This is a great start to my day and to my weekend. And yeah, I've woken up in a really good mood today, which has been quite rare for me lately. So I'm just making the most of it whilst I'm in a good mood. But yeah, if you do follow me over on Instagram, you may have seen me talk about it on my stories. Um, as you guys probably know, if you've been following the vlogs, I started a new job. Um, like I left my retail job that I've been working in for like three and a half years I left back in July and I'm just really not enjoying the job that I'm in and it's been getting me down and stuff but I feel like I'm getting better at sort of dealing with it like yeah I dread going to work and stuff and I, I'm not enjoying it but I feel like I've sort of I don't know gained a better perspective and I'm just like it's not forever I'll find something else and you know I'm just trying my best to stay positive because like there's nothing worse than not enjoying your job but then also like then not being able to enjoy your days off because you're worrying about your job and I was doing that for so long and I was just so down and like on my days off I was literally just like lying in bed until like the afternoon and then just like getting up and just not wanting to do anything and just being really sluggish and stuff and um I just don't want to do that anymore so I'm trying my best like still like get out of bed like nice and early because I always feel like that makes me feel better I don't know why this always happens to me when I'm like filming a video and I don't want anyone to see me I'm literally in an empty car park right it's a huge car park and I came and just like parked my car and there's literally like one other motorbike in it and then someone else comes in and instead of just going to like any other space they come and park right beside me and then I'm awkward because I'm like I'm filming <laughs> but yeah as I was saying I think I was just rambling on anyways but yeah I've just been like trying to get out of bed earlier on my days off and it's really been helping instead of just like lying there in bed because when I do that I just like think more like I have more time to think and then I just like feel down and stuff so like I'm not saying like oh yeah I'm fine about it, not liking my job and everything's better but like I'm just trying my best to like make the most of my days off and just like not try and like ruin my days off by thinking about it and dwelling on it um so yeah that's what I basically I'm doing because food makes me happy so I went to McDonald's and got myself a yummy breakfast so I will talk to you guys when I finish eating my breakfast and I actually take Kylie out for a walk he's been so patient and waiting for me <laughs> look at my little boy all ready to go for his walk this harness I actually can't get over how cute it is look at it Pumpkins. He's so cute. <laughs> Let's go then. It's such a nice morning. I'm so glad I'm finally getting to make use of some of my coats because like the last couple of weeks it's just been raining non-stop so I've just been living in my raincoat. But finally, well I say finally, hopefully for the rest of the day I managed to wear my coat as well. Because that's my favourite thing about autumn is like the coats, the scarves, the hats, but if it's raining all the time, the coat just get ruined so I just live in my rain jacket. So I'm going out for lunch later on with my mum, which I'm really looking forward to. And I've got like a little 
actually gift to give to her um it's not like any special occasion or anything but um i just got these like personalized magnets made and i just thought they were the cutest thing so i thought i would show you them it's got like um all of her grandchildren on it and just like some of my favorite like family photos i just thought that was a really cute thing but anyways now i am just playing with harley for a little bit and then I'll do some editing and then I think my mum's coming to pick me up and like I said we're gonna go out for lunch which I'm really looking forward to. So mum and I have come out for lunch and we're trying out this new place that's just like opened up in um what's this market called? Victoria. The Victoria. Victorian market um in town and it's like the food court so they like shut up everything down because it used to just be like little like there's a joke shop Not here and like yeah, just sort of stuff that was wasn't really used anymore. So they shut it all down for ages, and they've opened up like a food court. But I'm guessing they'll be getting more food places in it because there's only. Oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. So they're getting like loads of different ones. Yeah. Um, so this one that we come to is called the Bad Girl Bakery, and I'll quickly show you what we got because Mum's. Uh, I don't want your drink to go cold. Oh, you can't start, it looks you know. so lovely, doesn't it? So mum got, was it tuna and yeah, red onion? Yeah, made onion. It looks delicious. And then lovely. a latte, of course. I got hot chocolate. And then we got this to share because it's huge. Yeah. I've not seen got, something when it's too big I know. for me. <laughs> what was this called? It was like Millionaire Shortbread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Cookie chocolate delicious. chip or something like that. And then I got this bagel, which is bacon, lettuce and tomato. And then they like toasted it, so I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Mum just took a photo of it, oh, so it looks pretty. So nice. <laughs> right, you can tuck in. And you were just saying it's like putting me a bit away and it's true. Reminding me of Brian yeah, or something. Yeah, we miss those really days. Nice. <laughs> so we finished having lunch. We are so full. It was so good, wasn't it, Mum? Mum managed to finish the cake. I didn't. I don't know how she did. I've got a bigger belly than you. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> we just bought these really cute, so cute, aren't they? Are they baking spatula? Yeah. Mum's going to get these ones. How cute. Some of them have a thing with them though. Oh this yeah, is your one missing? Oh, that one doesn't, so it might be cheaper. Oh yeah, yes. I like that one. A pound well. cheaper. But yeah, that's But I really like new. that, yes. That's cute. really cute. No one will have these in this. We've also got some nice Christmas mugs. Got some little kids out in the snow, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're nice. Oh, these are yeah, nice. I like that shape. I was just going to say that's your shape of mug, Mum. <laughs> I got a really nice uh, Halloween mug from, what do you call that place? Home Bargains. Oh, good, yeah. That's so nice. Cute. Mm, that's these nice, are so pretty. Isn't it? Yeah, that's nice. Ooh. Remember when I had a wacky style like that and I mm. loved that? <laughs> I was into skulls and stuff. It's weird how your, your styles have <laughs> yeah. changed all of the old ones. Log on through phases. Yeah. Oh, look, that one's cute too. Oh, that's cool. Cold outside. Cute. That's so cute. I've got so much Christmas stuff in it. And then Halloween. I like that. This one, the little dogs. What's that one? The <laughs> legs. Got a little feet. I like them, I have to see. They're lovely. It's Christmas heaven here. Me and Mum just saw these. Little like. Do you call it Tupperware or Tupperware? Yeah. It was a P or a B. <laughs> just in your fridge. These They're so are. cute. Little Christmas designs. That's a lovely thing that, isn't it? Is that the glass ones? Oh no, it's yeah. not. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, I've seen them before. Oh, and they have the different sections. That's nice. We just heard like everything fall off the shelves and someone smashed like everything. Oh, Me and Mum are just glad it's not us. Because <laughs> usually that sort of thing happens to us. Guys, look at the size of the bags that Me and Mum have from TK Maxx. It's so heavy. Oh my god. Our arms are nearly falling off us, aren't they? <sighs> We were literally like, oh, we'll just pop into TK Maxx. You know how sometimes you don't see anything in TK Maxx? Well, this time we saw literally everything. I got oh, some Christmas presents. Oh. I got some stuff oh, for me. God. It was really good today. Have you got your juice in the front? Yeah, actually, I will. It was. It was sometimes you go in and there's nothing in. for the Baron's birthdays. Yeah, you got so a lot of birthdays. So that was good. Oh. But oh my gosh. Box. 
but apart from that, we didn't really go anywhere else. We went to the card factory and Mark's. Mark's. Yeah. We just spent a long time in TK Maxx because there was so much. It's nice to have a good Oh, it was good. That's why I love shopping with mum because you properly look at everything. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. see, but that's I why that. I like. Yeah, see, yeah, I, I like that you as well. I mean, Laura will just be a way ahead. Yeah. I think poor Laura just thinks. Well, I'm like, up. we're the same because I bet mum, yeah, look at this. Yeah, and you're like, look do. at this. They have so much to see. They there, do, yeah. Well, I've seen th some things I'd like to get for Christmas if they're still yeah. there. Yeah, definitely. But me and mum were saying, oh. I'll go this way because I'm not saying you're driving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> me and mum were. Um, saying it's annoying when you see like today we saw a lot of stuff but like it's not the sort of shop you can be like oh I'll come back for that another week when I have more money because it'll just be gone because I saw I saw that basket that I liked didn't that I? That was really nice. Oh that was so nice. Whoops. Mind you, you do get lots of nice baskets. Like yeah I'm sure I'll find another one. I just don't want to get it because I um like I was just I was being sensible with what I bought I could have bought more, and I thought, even when I got to the tills, and they were like, oh, that's £89 or something, I was like, what? I was like, that was me trying to be sensible, how? You could so easily, like, imagine not, I mean, it'd be great to not have to look at prices, but imagine if you didn't look at prices, you would go to the till and you'd be like, oh, yeah, that's £500 or something like that. Oh, I'm sweating. That was just a start of our Christmas so shopping. Really cool. yeah. So nice to get some stuff. I don't know why I wear makeup today. It's worse than it's not finding somewhere to put it all when you've no storage. It's well, I really said you bad. can store it at my house because I've yeah. got big cupboards actually. I'm stuck for sale as well. But I've got loads of stuff. I don't my even bedroom's know always just covered in <laughs> at Christmas and birthday time. I remember that. Stumbling to the <laughs> remember, toilet. Remember when I get past it all? <laughs> remember oh, when I moved out and you had that whole room as a storage Christmas room? <laughs> Remember? Well, when we bumped into that lady <laughs> on today and she was on about, oh, I've got such, such, and I've made up the room. I won't be able to do that. I have, when you somebody have leaves room. home, I've got to have a room for storage. It's because you don't have any cupboards, I've no though. cupboards, and it's Ted, but I, and I can't yeah. stand a mess, and I feel like when stuff's lying about, like it is at the, at the moment, you know, like, because yeah. there's not enough room for everything. You should just I use I hate having things like... under the bed. It's annoying, isn't it? And I don't have much, I have to say, but it's mostly Christmas wrapping paper and big long boxes <laughs> and things and my Christmas dishes. Oh, yeah. Did you get those um, storage boxes for Christmas wrapping paper, the long ones? I did. I oh, bought so just one. Where did I don't you know get if it? The right van. I wanted one and I couldn't find them. I remember, oh. you, I thought it was you that had got them. I can't remember. I it haven't seen any of this. It would have been Tesco or something or B&M maybe. Yeah. Or... So it's now the evening. Um, after I last spoke to you guys, Mum and I took Carly out for a nice long walk. It was just such like a nice day, like I said, just um, like my favourite type of autumn day. It was like, it was chilly, but at least it wasn't raining and it was just, yeah. We enjoyed going for a uh, walk and just like chatting and catching up. Honestly, it's been such a great day. I love, um, sorry, I'm just getting myself comfy. Um, yeah, I love those sorts of days, just catching up with my mum and we can literally just chat all day long. And like, we really enjoyed going out for lunch and doing a bit of shopping and that. And then, like I said, we went for a walk with Harley and then mum came back to mine and then we just chatted for a bit more. We were actually looking at some photos because I printed like loads of photos. Like, um, I think I showed you guys in my last vlog. So we were looking through those and just, yeah, chatting away. And now I've got my UD on because it's so cold and I'm honestly so glad I have, um, my UD because it's too expensive to put the heating on so my UD is the one and here's Harley he's so sleepy like he's literally falling asleep on um mum before she left because we had a nice long walk didn't we but yeah I thought I would do you guys a haul this is so heavy obviously I'll take out the stuff that's Christmas presents because I don't want to show that um on camera in case anyone that the Christmas presents are for um, is watching this vlog. Harley's gonna go crazy because every time I take something out of the bag, he thinks it's for him. <laughs> okay, so everything is from TK Maxx. So the first thing I got was a little Halloween book um, for Lola. It's called Five Spooky Friends and then it's got like loads of, um, you know those sorts of books that like you can move the little bits and all that and then they change 
their facial expressions. I used to love books like that when I was a kid. This was two ninety nine. Like TK Maxx's books, they've got such a good selection and they always do good themed books. So if you ever like are looking for something for like, I don't know, a grandchild or a niece or nephew or a friend's child or whatever, their books are always so good. They have Christmas ones, Halloween ones, and they're so cheap. Like I said, this was two ninety nine, which is so affordable. And um I got a photo album because again, like I said, I printed so many photos lately um, that I filled all my photo albums. So I just wanted a really big photo album. So I got this one, which I really like. It's like a blue sparkly one. I don't know if you can see that it's sparkly. And then it says family. We may not have it all together, but together we have it all. And I just thought it was perfect because um, all the photos I've printed is basically of my family. And like it's such a big, I was gonna say scrapbook, photo album, because you can fit like, I think there's five spaces there and there's just so many pages. Um, so I cannot wait to fill that. I might do that tomorrow actually. How much was that? I think that was 15, yeah, 14.99, which I didn't think was too bad because of the, like the size of it. I'm gonna hopefully be able to fit all the photos in that I printed. And then my favorite thing, I've been wanting an autumn cushion for like the last month. As you guys know, in the vlog where Michael and I went to Home Bargains, I was on the lookout for a pumpkin cushion and they didn't have it in my um, local Home Bargains. So I was really gutted. And then everywhere that like I looked, I just wasn't seeing any like autumn um, cushions that were like, I was really like, oh wow, like I really love that. Like I saw some and I was like, mm, not really. And then I saw this one in TK Maxx. I fell in love with it and it was the last one so I was so delighted that I got it. How cute is that? They're like fluffy as well. Can you guys see that? They're so soft. I absolutely love it. Um, so I think I'm going to put it in the living room just because like for um, like autumn and like Christmas and all that I like to just decorate the living room. Like I would love to have enough money to decorate everywhere but I mainly just decorate like the living room, living room and the hall like places um that people see so like if I ever have guests or that um or visitors they always just visitors family visiting um or friends over then um like all they really see is the living room and stuff so I like to make it like suit the season that we're in um so I think I'm going to put this in the living room and I absolutely love it it was 20 pounds um but like i said i just thought it was so so cute i could not say no to that and then i got a new blanket so i've been wanting a new blanket because the blanket that i've had for many many years michael actually melted it the other day um so i had washed it because if you have a dog you'll know that they love to sleep in your blankets and then they start to smell so yeah it was starting to smell dog so i was like right i'll wash it and then i hung out on the um, washing line outside and um then when i was doing the dishes it started to rain and so i asked michael to quickly go and grab it and take it in and i didn't realize that he put it in the tumble dryer and the blanket's not um meant to go in the tumble dryer so then later on um I came out of the shower, I was drying my hair and then Harley's sniffing like he's smelling something and I'm like, what's he sniffing at? Like he was going mad like sniffing around. So I like turned off the hair dryer and then I walked through to the kitchen and I started smelling burning and I was like, oh my God. So I opened the tumble dryer because that was like the only thing on. So I was like, maybe it's coming from there. And then I noticed that Michael put the blanket in there and uh, yeah, I lifted the blanket out and it was like burnt like it melted there was huge holes in it and it was like black and yeah that was my favorite blanket so i was gutted that um that was basically unusable so i was looking for another blanket and then <coughs> my mum spotted this one which i'm so glad she did because i thought that was perfect especially for this season because it goes with this one and this was quite expensive. I think it was £25, which I didn't really want to spend on a blanket, but, oh, I can't even lift it out because, let me take the tag off so you, we can see how big it is. It's quite big and it's like the softest material and it's like really good quality as well. So I think it's worth it. And then like on the other side, it's like velvety and I can just tell it's gonna be the coziest thing. And I think like when Michael comes home from work, he's gonna be so happy that I got this because 
we have just been missing our blanket so much because if you guys know me and Michael, we're like, we're like an old couple. Like we love to sit on this chair and watch Netflix literally in our Udis and we always have a little blanket and then Harley's lying there as well. We're just such like an old couple. So we've been missing our blanket. It just feels so weird not having a blanket over us. So I'm so excited to, um, use this tonight. I think that's everything that I got. The rest is just Christmas presents. But yeah, I did spend quite a bit today, but I don't regret it because I think it's important to treat yourself every now and then. And I just, I'm so excited to make this living room so cozy. So that was a weird angle of me. I was literally like, so I'm gonna take my makeup off, go for a shower. I need to have dinner, but honestly, I'm not even hungry. Like, that cake that we had just filled me up so much. Um, yeah, like I said, it was called Bad Girl Bakery and I would definitely recommend it. It was really good. It was our first time going there. Um, so I definitely recommend that. Um, and yeah, then I'm gonna make the living room all cozy and put my new cushion out and my new blanket out. So I'll show you that once I take my makeup off and basically get unready. <laughs> How freaking cute does this look? I actually love it. I'm so happy I got it and I cannot describe how soft this blanket is. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad I got both of those things because they just look so good. And then I forgot to show you guys these. I got these the other day from the range. They're little pumpkin fairy lights. So I've been loving having those on in the evening because it just makes the living room feel so cozy. And then obviously <laughs> I'm gonna turn the lights out. Hi Harley. Your little donut bed that you love. Like that's just how cozy it looks. Oh, I actually love it. But I'll turn the light back on just so I can speak to you guys. Yeah, they were like five or six pounds, I think. Um, so not bad at all. And you actually get like a good length of lights because sometimes when you buy fairy lights, it's literally like I don't know on the shortest little like on the shortest little wire. But um, yeah, I've got enough there to sort of like drape on the fireplace, and I literally. Love it and I cannot wait to do the same thing at Christmas as well. There's just something about fairy lights that I absolutely love. Um, by the way, sorry about all these um, red marks, but I have just been squeezing my spots. So I'm just gonna get cozy under my new blanket, my new little terminal living area, which I absolutely love. And I am actually currently watching the um, Jeffrey Dahmer story. Um, I know there's like, couple of different ones but this is the one that I'm actually watching. I think I'm like five or six episodes into it but I was talking to my mum about it today because she's actually watching it and she said that she's watched like a film of it so something that wasn't like episodes so I guess there's like a few different ones um so I'll be watching the film after I watch this because I find th things like this like although they're like really hard to watch it's I don't know it's really interesting. But anyways, I am rambling now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching as always. And yeah, I will see you again very, very soon for another one. Bye.